Hi guys, Jimmy here. Welcome back to my channel. Hope everybody's doing well, staying safe and enjoying the weather if you're in the UK because it is a very, very mild day today. It is very nice indeed. Anyway, so today I've had a new delivery and um, wasn't expecting it until Saturday or maybe even Monday next week. But I've got an email from Zavi to say your order's been dispatched. Thought it was something else, but it was actually this other film that I've been looking forward to for quite a while. Um, and it is of World War Z. Yes, Brad Pitt in a zombie fest. Um, I actually really enjoyed this film. Um, when I first saw this, I think it was in the cinema, and I heard Brad Pitt was in I was like, mm, in Brad Pitt in a zombie film, not too sure. But um, I absolutely loved it. I thought it was fantastic. Um, even the ending, I thought the ending is great in this film. I know some people didn't like the ending that much, um, but I really enjoyed it. And it's got one of the best zombie chase scenes ever. Um, yeah, that every time I watch that, it's, it still gets me. I think the chase through the streets um, is very, very good in this. Didn't disappoint. There's two cuts of the film in here. There's the theatrical version and then there's the unrated version. Now, unfortunately, for my mind to believe, the 4K is only the theatrical version. It's not the uncut version, which... Um, Annoyed some people. It is a bit strange why he didn't put the uncut version on there, but there could be a reason for that. So um, I'll be giving this a check out later on. Um, it does have the um, Amore case in there, and I'll show you that later on. But luckily, I've got one of my favourite steel books, and this was of World War Z embossed. And this steel book has led to one of the best cat memes that I'll put up here. Um, ever, which every time I see this cat meme, um, it was a crazy day, I think it is. Um, and then... <laughs> It's a cat on there. Um, that meme gets me every single time. But yeah, so I had this steel book a while. And as you can see, that's nicely embossed. Um, really nice steel book. There's the back bit. And that's where the cat meme comes from. Um, so yeah, I'll, I'll put that up somewhere up here just for a bit of a bubble. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to unbox this on my red background. Because there is a fair bit in here in all fairness. There's some nice extras. But anyway, enough of me going on. Let's take a closer look at World War Z 4K Collector's Edition. Okay guys, so let's take a closer look at World War Z. So there we go, so it's the collector's edition. We've got the 4K, Blu-ray stickers, posters, art cards, and more. So I've already had a little look, so I just wanted to make sure, but um, yeah, it is, the 4K is only 116 minutes, and then the actual unrated version is 123 minutes. So we've got seven minutes there difference. Um, but you know, I'm, I'm, I'm okay with that, I'm happy with that. I'm not gonna worry too much about that. So we've got ourselves a nice little envelope there, V139. And then inside here, caution, biological hazard, Brad Pitt, World War Z. And then here is the actual Amore case itself. So yeah, so they've kept the standard artwork on there. It's uh, single-sided, so there's nothing there. And then there you go, you've got your 4K there. Um, and then you've got your Blu-ray there. So yeah, if, don't quite know why they didn't do that, but I'm sure at some stage the 4K will come out and then, you know, I can swap that out with the unrated one if need be. So we're going to take a little closer look at what's inside the goodies here. I'll be back to you in just one moment. Okay, guys, so inside this envelope was quite a few goodies indeed. So I do like the effect here with the bloodied handprint on there as well. And that was the back that I already showed you. So let's have a little look at what you've got inside here. So first of all, we've got a World War Z patch. Yes, they've given you a patch. What are you going to do with it? I don't know, but it's in there and it's an iron on one. Um, and yes, yeah, so it's got a nice little effect. Now, would that be the effect of the virus spreading? I don't know, but maybe that's what that's the impression I get from it. Then we've got a welcome to Philadelphia population zero card. That's the back of it. So I quite like that actually. And then we've got two stickers, live virus, wear protective clothing, and then the DJ mark where everything goes a bit crazy when people realize the end of the world is upon us. Um, yeah, so that's blank on the back again. I'm never gonna use the stickers, but they're there, they're there. And then we've got some art cards. Um, so, there you go. Just trying to remember what part of the scene that's from now. Um, is that after the plane crashes? I could be wrong on that one. I can't remember now. And that's where they're trying to make their way through the city um, in the beginning, I think that one is. And that's when they land at a military base in Korea. And that that goes crazy there when they're riding the bikes and then the bike makes a noise. I uh, saw the cell phone, his, his wife rings him, doesn't he? And then it all hell breaks loose. And that's part of the uh, 
sequence as they run through the city, which I said was very, very intense. And then another art card from when they're at the military base, I think that one is. Again, the same on the back. And then this is where he's making his way. I think that's through the um, laboratories, isn't he? Trying to get to the antivirus or what they think is the antivirus. Again, that's the same on the back. And then that's the note he writes, isn't it? Tell my family I love them. So I, I like that, actually. I wasn't expecting that. And again, oh, that's the story. Was, was he on the back? And then you've got a nice little poster that goes in here. So um, that was one of the main um, posters for the film, wasn't it? And that's just playing on the back. So, yeah, so I, I wasn't expecting this one. I did know there was another poster in there as well. So I'm going to um, show you this poster because this one's quite big as well. But, yeah, I do like that. I like the artwork on that one. Put that there. And then I will unfold this for you in just a moment. And this is the poster that comes with it. Now, I can't remember seeing this poster in the UK. I can remember the other poster, but not this poster. So I could be wrong. I could be wrong because it does say uh, in digital 2D and 3D in theatres. Uh, three in digital 3D and 2D in theatres. Um, so maybe that was used stateside or in Asia. But I, I just remember the other artwork on the posters in England. But I do like that, actually. Very, very nice. And I'm going to pack this one. I'm just going to show you one thing before I close, finish this vlog, rather. And so just before we go, I thought I'd show you the still book that I've got. Um, as I said, it was embossed, and um, one of my favourite still books. This is I, just, I really, really like it. In the scene in the film where they're all stepping on each other, the zombies stepping on each other to get a um, helicopter is crazy. But yeah, where's the cat? Where's the cat meme? <laughs> Open it up, and uh, in this one here, we've got the um, unrated version on Blu-ray, and then we've got. And I forgot I actually had it in three D. Um, I haven't set up my 3D TV now, so uh, I, I can't watch this anymore, but I, I want to revisit this in 3D. And then there was the backdrop. So I do like the artwork on this still book. And I've got this in, I think I've got this in Computer Exchange um, for quite a decent price, actually. So I was happy with that. Let's run back in here. And then what I may, what I may do is I may swap out the Blu-ray in this one. Um, and because this fits perfectly, there you go. So I've upgraded it to a Steelbook Collector's Edition. So I might, yeah, swap out the 4K in that one and put it in this one. But anyway, guys, listen, thanks for watching. Any questions, let me know. Stay safe, and I'll see you on my next vlog real soon.